Also, developing this morning, new video obtained by Fox 5 revealing the moments of retired D.C. lieutenant shot and killed a 25-year-old woman during a police training exercise at Anacostia Library last year. The shooter has been sentenced to three years in prison, but the family of the victim wants more to be done. A lot of questions here, Melanie, who is outside D.C. police headquarters, and I think now that this new video has been released, even more questions are surfacing. Right, and, and that is certainly something that the family has been pushing for all along. They were unhappy with just a three-year sentence. They wanted more there for the negligence in, that they say was involved in this. And, you know, Marika, the 25-year-old special police officer, she worked for the D.C. library. She was a mom, a new homeowner. She was excited to further her career and her training. And her family attorneys are saying that they're releasing video of the shooting to support their demands for change. Take a look here. And you can understand their feelings. It's August 4th, 2022, and this group of library special police officers had just finished baton training at the Anacostia Library. 59-year-old Jesse Porter, there you see him leading the training as a private contractor. The group gathers to take a photo, and in the middle you can see Marika turning around to remove her mask. Then Porter suddenly comes from the side, turns, draws his gun, and shoots, striking Mannion with a single bullet to the chest. And we're going to pause it there because of the graphic nature of the rest of the video. But clearly, everyone is in shock here, including Porter, who throws his hands on top of his head in apparent disbelief. Now, his attorney says the retired police lieutenant thought he had pulled a training gun, but Marika's family says the city here is partly to blame. Mr. Porter did not have any criminal intent. Uh, that it was not his intent to cause any harm uh, to her on that day. He's acknowledged that what it is that he did was negligent, um, but it wasn't criminal. Uh, but he's also accepted responsibility. For it's time to make a change and to actually enforce policies that put safety at the forefront. So Marika's family's attorney says Porter should never have been allowed to carry a firearm in the D.C. Public Library or in a training session. The library's public safety director resigned after the shooting. And Marika's family's attorney do plan to file a civil lawsuit against the city. Jesse Porter began serving his three-year sentence last month. So we heard a little bit about uh, the possible intent in this case. Uh, what about the fact that this uh, this this trainer, uh, not really a, a police officer at the time, but a trainer had that loaded gun inside the library, Mel? What does law say about that? So uh, D.C. law, if you could hear me here, because we've got a lawnmower coming by. Uh, D.C. law says that you cannot carry a firearm in any D.C. building. So a, a building, uh, any D.C. agency, and it doesn't appear to make any exceptions for retired police officers. And I can also tell you that I spoke with some folks that, that have knowledge of, of D.C. police training policies, and I'm told that uh, it is policy if you're going to a, a police training academy that officers have to lock their firearms outside of the training room before they enter. Holly? Right, Mel, thanks very much. Melanie Olick outside police headquarters this morning. As we said, a lot more questions surfacing from that case. Holly?